hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to add so many videos on your video timeline so you're editing a video and you want to have two different or three different videos on the same timeline layout laid out different ways and you want to edit your video probably that certain way i'm just going to show you how to do that let's dive in so I've done this on Ucode, although Ucode system is different, but I want to show you guys how to do this on KineMaster. So I'm going to show you how to add multiple video on KineMaster. So um, let's open our KineMaster. So I have KineMaster open. Um, the first thing I need to do right now is to click on new project. And then I'm going to select the first option because that is the aspect ratio that I want to make use of. And I'm going to click on next to um, go next. So the first thing you need to do when your video is open is probably to have a background of the video. So if you want the background to be an image, click on this image asset, choose any pre-existing um, image, and then the image is going to be set for our video so go ahead and close this to close that out so i'm going to add a video like on the middle of this area so usually i i used to have my video background and then the video plays on it so this is the background and then i'm going to add the video on top of it so um to do that all you need to do is to click on layer when you click on layout you'll be able to select your video but usually if you want to add video on the main timeline all you need to do is to select media so instead of choosing media we are going to choose layer and then click on the media option for the layer and now go ahead and click on where you have your video located so i'm going to click on this recording and choose this recorded video wait for it to re-encode and click OK for it to re-encode. So it's going to take a while. And once you finish re-encoding, you can now see the video on the timeline. So let's wait for that. So guys, the re-encoding was successful. And now you can notice we have the video displaying on top. And if you notice below the timeline area, the video is displaying right there. So the first thing I need to do is to click on this bottom area and drag the video to be bigger so that it will fit into my screen properly. Once you have it that way, you're probably okay with that. Now go ahead and stretch the background to stretch even further to the ending of the video because if you notice, the video timeline stay extend even further. So I'm going to swipe this, swipe, swipe until it gets to the end so i think that is exactly where the video ended so i'm going to swipe even back to go back now if you have multiple video like i said you want to have multiple video on your video all you need to do is to um deselect the selected video on the timeline because if there is a video selected on the timeline it's going to be displaying right here so deselect that video that is already selected click on this layer area click on this um menu icon and now you are going to see um, all of the video you have on your folders. I'm going to click on download to select a different video. So I'm going to choose this particular video. Now let's assume we want to have this video to display also. So this video is very big. So I will have to reduce that and then put it by the side. So um, too small. And then put it by the side. And then I'm going to add another video. Click on the layer. Click on the media. Downloads and i'm going to um, choose even more video do i have other videos i think that is all that is the last video actually i'm going to choose this one instead and then wait for it to re-encode so um let me wait for it to re-encode okay this is faster there is no need to go away and then the re-encoding is successful so i'm going to put that on the left but i'm going to remove the color so um click on chroma and remove the background so that it will have a transparent background that way it displays properly so i want it also to end the same area where this one ended so um you cannot stretch you can just go ahead and duplicate the video so this is how to have multiple video playing let me reduce the sound of this and then play the video so that you see on the play now you notice the video is playing and this one i want it by the right properly here and then i'm going to reduce it a little yeah that's fine so 
this is how to add multiple video on your video playing so for some reason you can also have a video as your background if you want to have a video as a video as your background all you need to do is go ahead and have that video displaying on the background let me go ahead and get rid of this one um i just clicked on it delete when you delete the background the whole video deletes anyway so i'm going to click on the menu and then since i want to have a main video on the background click on the video click on this other video and you notice it's now displaying once more so the main video now that is our background this is the video wait for it there you go so if you guys are okay for the with this video smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more video i'm going to be making more interesting video for you guys in the future stay safe and peace